Hydrofracking has become a highly debated topic over fears of water contamination. WAER's Sawyer Rosenstein looks at a group of local researchers trying to find out if there's anything to worry about. A group of professors at Syracuse University's Earth Science Department is looking at area water to find out what's in it before hydrofracking begins. Project SWIFT began testing residents' water in the southern part of the state in the spring. Associate Professor Laura Louts describes the different ways contaminants get in the water. It's sometimes hard to tell whether the contamination that they're seeing in their well is really the result of the hydrofracking, or whether it's a result of some other source of contamination, or whether it's even just a naturally occurring compound that's found in their well. So we're going out to the southern part of the state, and we're basically trying to figure out what does groundwater look like without hydrofracking. The project looks at water from wells drilled after 2000, collecting samples from rivers as well as taps from volunteers' homes. With hydrofracking being such a controversial issue, assistant professor and co-founder of Project SWIFT, Greg Hoke, knows it's hard but important to be unbiased. We want to do the hard thing and toe the middle ground between the two issues. Basically, the way that I think the way that we all see it, everyone involved in the project, is that there's a lot of noise and very little data that's informing the emotions that exist on both sides of the issue. Hoke notes that water quality data is collected by gas companies but not released to the public. Project SWIFT's first test results are expected by the end of next week. All of their research will be available to the public on their website at swift.syr.edu. Sawyer Rosenstein, WAER News.